whether or not it wants to put in some extra 24 hour surveillance cameras. So Pleasanton, like many other Bay Area cities, already has automated license plate readers for tracking vehicles. But now city officials could take it a step further. Kitty Nelson talked with business owners and residents about this idea. In a little less than an hour, the Pleasanton City Council will start their meeting where one of the items up for discussion tonight is a proposal to install what the police department is calling situational awareness cameras, basically surveillance cameras all around town, a proposal that's being met with mixed reaction. If you don't have a passion, there is no craft. Fotis Vasiliadis is a craftsman through and through. He's a third generation jeweler from Greece with a small shop, Golden Time, off Hopyard Road in Pleasanton. There is always something new to learn. There, there is no end to it. There is always a challenge. But most recently, that challenge hasn't come with the jewelry he designs and then makes by hand, but instead security. There is way too many incidents of people getting uh, robbed, there is too many incidents of smash and grab. Back in February, his surveillance cameras caught this. Four men shining flashlights into his store in the middle of the night. And while they didn't break into his shop, they did break into the business next door. Now, the jewelry cases are empty all the time. Over here, I had my wedding bands. And uh, over there, I have the uh, engagement rings and some other things that I make myself, pendants and whatnot. Each piece can take up to a week to make, so he only brings his jewelry in when he has an appointment, not wanting to keep anything at the shop for fear of being robbed, like what happened to Heller Jewelers in San Ramon in March, where thieves made off with more than a million dollars in jewelry and watches. Events like those are part of the reason why the city of Pleasanton has applied for a $3 million organized retail theft grant from the state to buy and install what they're calling situational awareness cameras, described as permanent surveillance cameras in high traffic parts of the community, like major intersections or shopping centers to record everything that's going on. Tonight, the city council is scheduled to decide whether the police department should move forward with the program if the city gets the grant. Like us sitting here, you want to be recorded. But not everyone is enthusiastic about the idea, including lifelong Pleasanton resident Daniel Gamash. You see these mob flashes and people getting away with all of this stuff. It just doesn't make any sense to me. Surveillance cameras isn't going to fix any of that problem. Let's put money where we could help fix that problem. But Fotis says anything the city can do to keep the shops safer is welcome. I want to go home in the night and keeping a low profile, I guess it's a, it's a lot safer to play it nowadays. Even if the city council does approve the use of the situational awareness cameras at their meeting tonight, it could all be a moot point if the city is not awarded the grant. And we did reach out to both the city of Pleasanton and the police department asking for more information about how the cameras would be used and where they'd be installed. Neither provided a response to our questions today.